Hello everybody, welcome to the Two Brothers channel. I'm one brother. Hey, I'm the other brother. Good evening everybody. Good afternoon wherever you were watching from. <laughs> and she is... Who is she? I am Rika. Rika is back everybody. Hey! hey she, is, she is the daughter. She's the daughter. The daughter, <laughs> the daughter. I like that. The daughter department. <laughs> the daughter department. <laughs> anyway, let's, let's, let's. Today, what we're going to be talking about is we're going to be talking about how to empower your network. Mm. The last um, video that we did, we spoke about the importance of your network being your net worth. So if you do not take care of your network, you're really not taking care of your net worth. So if you want your network net worth to be strong, that means what you're worth to be strong, you cannot neglect your network. Mm. And we showed you on that video, the people around you are your network, your immediate circle, your acquaintances, your friends. Okay. And one of the things that we do when, 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 is for many years, we have been about empowering our network. So this video is going to be how to empowering, empower your network. As a matter of fact, our motive of this channel is to empower you wherever you are. Some people will say, but Mr. Phil, you may never meet me. It doesn't matter. You know why? Because when you go high in the understanding of things, you will understand that everything affects everything else. Mm. Let me give you a quick example before I give, hand over to Mr. Clare. Quick example. You will be mistaken to think that Nelson Mandela, what Nelson Mandela did, has not affected your life as a black man. You will be mistaken to, to think that. Because his example showed the whole world the leadership of a black man, the forgiveness of a black man. Do you understand what I'm saying? So we are, whether you like it or not, that ripple effect you're benefiting from it today. What do you think, Mr. Clay? It, it is, <laughs> what do I think about that? <laughs> what can I think about saying that? You know, listen, it is, this, is, this thing is, is a powerful journey. Mm. But, um, you know, but it would be, be good to see Enrique, Enrique, um, you know, to see what you think about this because um, about empowering your network, empowering your network, and seeing how everybody's in, intrinsically linked with each other. You know, what do you think? I, I mean, how have you seen myself and your dad, you know, relate and how we've, you know, kind of like negotiated things Actually, together? Maybe where you should start. It's not mm. naming people within our network that you know, Rike. Yes. Start okay. with that. Then uh, say, talk about how we've we've interacted. Okay. Um. So, within within your network, I know, um, Auntie Sam, aka Queen Eagle or Warrior Queen, um, <laughs> Uncle Patrick, Uncle Zari, Uncle Akiji, um, obviously Uncle Leia is also part of the network. Uh, who else? Um, many people. <laughs> but with those that I've already um, already spoken about, the stories are so interwining and interlinking. Like you, you wouldn't even know that this person you met them through this person, and they helped you to do this, and you helped them to do that, and everybody just chips in where they can. So. Empowering your network is very, very powerful. And I think it's very interesting that we're speaking about it today um, on this topic because everybody needs it. For me, especially, I've been trying to grow my network and the next step will be to empower them so that they can in turn empower me and I can in turn empower them also. Okay. So yeah, back okay. to you. Okay, it's called a success feedback loop. So mm. that you forgot is Zari, okay. And no, one of the, no, he mentioned he mentioned Mr. Zari. She mentioned Zari. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry, I apologize. Okay, now the important thing is that to empower a network, you need to start speaking what I call 
the same language. Mm -hmm. So share books, share videos, anything that has inspired you, okay? Share it with the people around you. Like I said, I keep reminding everybody, not everybody will resonate with this. It is for you to realize the people that are worth you investing your time and effort into. If I share with somebody and they're like, ah, that's not, that's all you both. That's what you both stuff, man. I'm not interested. But I've, I'll be really, really stupid to start trying to, oh, come on, read this. Oh, come on, see this. No, no, no. You, but if I share with somebody and they come back and say, ah, oh, you know what? I really enjoyed that book you shared with me, you know. It's their book. That's the kind of person I will share with, okay? okay? Another thing that you can do is look out for opportunities for other people. Don't just look mm -hmm. out for other opportunities for just you. Look out for opportunities for other people. As a matter of fact, as a this matter channel, of fact, some people might think, and you know, I, I hope you know this comes out the right way. Some people might think that, like we said, oh, maybe people are looking for money. No, as a matter of fact, we are offering people the opportunity to generate money with this channel. Now, if we're so even if we're making money, we're sharing that which we're not but we're sharing what we already have with you guys out there. So that should tell you that the motive is different here. That should tell you this is a new day. Look, we're looking to develop a new crop of Nigerians, a new crop of Africans that stop thinking the old way. The old way of thinking has gotten us to where we are now. That same thinking is not going to get us from where, where we are to somewhere better. It's only going to get worse. As a matter of fact, from independence till now, that I know from Nigeria, I know we talk about Nigeria a lot because we're from Nigeria. But anyway, same with a lot of African countries. It's like African countries are just spiraling down from independence. Nobody's developing, okay? <clears throat> and it's that thinking. So if we're going to develop, if we're going to get better, it's going to start with the thinking. It, starts, okay? it always starts with the thinking. It always mm -hmm. starts with the thinking. Because... Like Mr. Phil just said that, you know, you, you have the ability to connect with not just your family, your friends, but acquaintances. And it's not just, you know, we have this history of having friends that are um, schoolmates. We have this, we have this um, history of having friends that are, you know, workmates but not, peop not people that are actually there to, to come in together to say, okay, listen, bro, I'm here to empower you. We don't have those kind of friends. And that is what needs to change. That is what needs to change because look around your friends, look around your family. Who are the people that you spend the most time with? Mm -hmm. Is your mission for coming together to empower each other or to do the Joneses competition? You know, what is he wearing? How is he faring? Am I just investigating to find out, okay, is he doing better than me? Oh, he's doing better than me. Ah, there's, there's trouble, you know? And that's, that shouldn't be your mentality. Your mentality should be we're coming together to empower each other. I've just been offered a job. You know, this job might be better for you. Mm -hmm. Or even I've got a job, but my income is higher than yours. This job they're offering me is a bit higher than mine, but I can coach you on how to get that job. Those kind of conversations. And you're actually meeting on a regular basis. Because that's one thing that Mr. Phil is giving me the, um, the importance of doing in setting up a regular meeting place. That you know that this is our mission for here. We're here to empower each other. Mm -hmm. We're here to empower each other. I don't know where else you have that opportunity around the world. I don't know where else you have it, where you can create a regular weekly meeting where you meet up with the people around you and you empower each other. You empower each other with books. We empower each other with tapes. We empower each other with, with, with connections. You know? And you even go with each other to say we're here to help each other. Where do you see that? Back to you, you Mr. Phil. Or Rick. You don't see it. That's, that's the crazy thing about this. Just listening to the both of you... Um, explain how we can empower our networks is is literally the, the questions that I'm coming up with is people I don't think people actually 
think that they need to. I don't think people realize that they need to. Because even you, do, um, you and Kolea are just explaining that you have a regular place um, where you meet your people, of course, on Zoom and everything. That doesn't happen. Usually it's, oh, yeah, we're going to go to the party or we're going to go to the club. But there's nothing actually intellectual. There's no, there's no form of um, banning ideas together and being able to excel with people that you have around you constantly. So, I, yeah, I, I find it very interesting that even just now I'm thinking, wow, maybe, maybe they didn't, well, the people that I knew previously didn't think that that was necessary in their lives. But it's a very, very important aspect. And this is what I have enjoyed for so many years. Now I want us to go into practical um, instances. You know, look, one thing that, that, that about life is this. Principles are what holds life together. There's a principle of gravity. That means that if you go to the top of a building and you step off, you are doing what? You're coming down. <laughs> You're dropping. It does not care how cute you are. It does not care how intellectual you are. It does not care whether you are handsome or beautiful. You're coming down. Mm. Principles do not respect anything else but the principle that has been laid. Okay? Now, the principle of success, simple, is line your life with the principles that make you succeed. One of them is principle of if you plant, you will harvest. Mm -hmm. If you give, yeah. it will come back to you. Now, yeah. when we say give, people just think money. Most of the time, they only think money. Mm -hmm. Guess what? If you give ideas, ideas will come back to you. Mm -hmm. Press down, shape it together, run it over. If you give solutions, more solutions will come back to you. Press down, mm -hmm. shape it together, turn it over. If you give information, which mm -hmm. is something that I did, I started mm. giving information for many years. And guess mm. what? People now started giving me information. And guess what? One of those information saved my life. So you know, here was I, thinking I was being, oh, Mr. Good Guy, just give information for free. For free. I didn't know I was saving my own life. Mm. Because literally, even when the person gave, because I was going through a difficult time in my life, one of the darkest times in my life. And this person said, Mr. Phil, read this. And I'm like, oh, I ain't got time. Meanwhile, that was the information I needed. Hmm. And he said, just try and read it. I've got all the things I'm reading. He said, just read it. So I picked it up. I'm like, <gasps> This saved my life. <laughs> now, the long and short of it is that I didn't go looking for that book. It came to me. And it came to me on the principle that they, they knew that I share information. So whenever they see information somewhere, oh, Mr. Phil, you like this, okay, boom. Mr. Phil, you understand what I'm saying? I yep. became a hub. So whatever you give out, like I said, everyone always thinks it's only money. If you give your time, people will give your, you their time. Mm -hmm. If you give your ideas, people will give you their ideas. If you save people, more people will come and save you. It is just the principle of life. Anyone wants to chip in? Mr. Rike wanted to say something earlier. Rike. Oh, earlier, it was just about the example of the time when somebody gave you a piece of information that saved your life. Yeah. I wanted you to, to expand on it, but you already did, so it's fine. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, I, was no, that, I was going through a dark period of that time. No, no, the, the, the thing is, when it comes to us as human beings, what you don't know is, you know, like Mr. Phil always say, you're, you're, you're sending out a frequency. Mm. You know, people can see your frequency. People around you, even in your workplace, in church, in, at home, they know that, okay, you know what? If they come across something, they will think, oh, that might, that might actually help this guy. Or that mm -hmm. might be something that Rike is looking for. That, will, that might be something that Mr. Phil can make use of, you know? And, and, and I've, I've had, we've had family members that have enjoyed that for many, many years, freely, you know, just before the fact of the matter that we are, the way we're, we're going on this self-personal development journey. We're recommending them read books because we can see where they're at. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. and we've seen them like you know transform their lives just from the fact that they are around us you know just from that fact and I can vouch for that. Okay, back to you. <laughs> I can vouch for that. I was just gonna say that it's true. It's, it's really true. Don't don't hold back, Rika. Please share more. Well, <laughs> to be honest, it's it's bigger than anything that I could ever say that I am, you know, a part of. Like oh, everything comes back to you like like my father said everything does come back to you the world is literally a mirror and it's crazy when you come to this realization that everything you put out comes back to you probably even more than you would ever expect it like mm. like i said i i can vouch for being a recipient of giving somebody something and it coming back to me in a way that has helped change my life for the better so i encourage everybody i literally encourage everybody to to be giving, not not in terms of um, just to receive, but to be giving because you know that you are empowering somebody, you are helping to grow somebody, and in turn, eventually, the same will happen for you. It's so powerful what Rike is saying there, and if you if you guys just realize that, because you know we've gone gone against competition, knowing that we are not in competition with each other. I mean, Mr. Phil. Um, yeah. We've gone against the fact that we, we are we are cooperating with each other. Yeah, we've gone over the fact that okay, we're recommending books for each other. We're even quizzing each other in the books. Like, what are you getting from that book? You know, because the reason the birth of this channel really is the fact that when we were reading, we were getting together, talking, yeah, and sharing yeah. inspiration that we're getting from the books. You know, because the books would say one thing to you, but what the, what that makes you think of, how you apply that in your life, we were sharing those ideas with each other, you know, and we started thinking that, you know, although we were teenagers at the time, but the things that, we were, com that were coming out of our mouths was blowing our minds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We were actually getting scared. Like, this is, no, no, this is, this is, this is not a joke anymore, you know? And... And those kind of conversation is what we're bringing to you guys. You know, I mean, Mr. P, what, what, what would you say to that? That is it exactly, Mr. Kaleye. And that is what we're bringing to you people. We just want to make you to know that our motive is pure. Over time, you will realize that, you know. And like, like Ray Rike said, the world is a mirror. It reflects back to you, but unfortunately, it doesn't just reflect what you give. Give it reflects it and magnifies it. Mm. So yeah. it's not only going to reflect it; it's going to reflect it and magnify it. So yeah. when you, so again, whether you guys like it or not, because our motive is pure and we're sharing it, the universe will reflect it and magnify it back to us again. Yeah. Money is the least. A lot money of people are least. stuck on money. They're stuck on money. What are you getting money? Where? Where? Money is the least. Information is the most. <laughs> money is the least. Information is the most. Money is the least. Do you know how much that you can have in your account that can't save your life? And another thing, Mr. Phil, is this. When, when people don't have money, then it, be, it becomes the, the thing that of, occupies most of their mind. It's amazing as human beings. What we don't have, if we don't have something, you know, that is what will just take over our mind. You know, because mm -hmm. money, it doesn't even take a lot of money to stop thinking about money. That shows how poor you are. If you're really constantly thinking about money and not thinking about value, not thinking about being a solution provider, not thinking about solving people's problems, you know, mm -hmm. but you're just thinking about million. I need a million now. I need to it's steal money from somewhere. That, yeah, yeah. It's even worse than that. It's more a case of them, um, sorry, we've heard, we've heard, sorry, we've heard. Saying, <laughs> we've heard. <laughs> yeah, we've heard that people saying that, oh, they're making, they're doing that channel because they're getting paid by, uh, by YouTube. Okay, we're oh, um, so you no, no, they, 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 wait, yeah. wait, 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 they're more interested in being an hindrance to what they think that someone else is, even when that person is not getting what they think, 
Meanwhile, that person is trying to come and empower them. So they become a block, not only to, the, to, them, to that person, they become a block to themselves. Then they now wonder, why are things not happening in my life? Because the motive is not pure. The mm. motive is not pure. The motive is me, myself, and I. Okay? But you are in a world that works on principles. So whenever, so start changing your principles to principles of, look, we've heard this in the Bible. They said, give and it will come back to you. We've, mm. we've heard, but do we really believe it? Mm. Why not actually try it? And, and you're always, on. sorry, Mr. Phil, just before you yes, move please. on, hold on that thought. You're always giving out something. Thank whether you please. realize it or not. Oh, Mr. Claire, God bless you. But you're always giving out something. It could be a positive vibe or a negative vibe, but you're always giving out the vibe. You're mm -hmm. always giving out the vibe. Mr. Claire, carry on, please. So, for your sake, not for my sake, because I'm okay, trust me. <laughs> I have light, I have, a, I'm very comfortable, as you can see. <laughs> For, my, for your sake, try and give out what you want to receive back. And don't give it to us. No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> don't give it to us. <laughs> give it to people we don't know. People that we don't know. We are telling you that we even have, look, we even have money that we can give. Mm. Look at my eyes. We have money that we can give, but this is what we've learned. There's a difference between dash money mm. and earned money. Mm. Mm. There's a difference between dash money and earned money. Mm. Dash money is destructive. Mm. Earned money is productive. Mm. Dash money is so because once once you get dash money, it teaches you the wrong relationship with money. Yeah. So whenever you are do, dealing with dash money. You cannot do. You, can, you cannot improve your life or anything with that money. You just spend it frivolously. Earned money, earned yeah. money, becomes something that you use valuable. It's just the law of nature. It's not Mister Phil that made that. Okay, mm -hmm. that is why we're not dashing people money in Nigeria. Look, as it is right now, we look at we look at things, and we realize that in Africa is getting thirty eight billion of dash money every year probably even more what are they yeah. doing with that cash money where is it reflected how is it reflected on them and that's not that that is the money let me just clarify that 38 billion that is the money that the people in diaspora yes people that are working low-level jobs people that are living outside the country yes. trying to make ends meet sending back home, home alone. After tax. that is not the aid that other company other countries are giving back to africa that is just family members sending money back. Thirty-eight wow. billion dollars. Wow. Uh, yes, and because it's dash money, people are not able to do anything with it because it's the principle. But earned money. Now, I don't even. Sorry, 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 Mr. Field. Sorry, Mr. Field. Most people get excited when you dash their money, though, because they don't understand. Because, because they don't they understand that that is the wrong color for excitement. You should be saying, "No, no, no I don't want it. I don't want it. Take it away from me. Let me earn Ooh. it." Taboo. No, 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 no. Mr. Kileye, that is why they're poor. If this is if this is what you get from all our videos, get it. That money makes you poor. Very mm. poor. Okay? That is why I don't dash even my children money because I love them. Ah. I don't want to have the wrong relationship with money. <laughs> so I don't dash them money. I teach them to earn it. Hmm. And, yeah. and it's not being a wicked. It's not being a wicked father. It's no. not being. It's not being a stingy father. No. Rike, go over to you. <laughs> You're the one that has been experiencing it. <laughs> yeah. You know, I had a. I had an anecdote the last time when I was speaking about when I got my first official job, hmm. and I remembered working for an hour and receiving like eight pounds. And then for me to go and spend eight pounds, I was like, do you know, I've worked one, one whole hour to receive this money. I'm not spending it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's true. You 
know, if if you're just given money, like as a gift or something, yeah, it's, it's dash money. You can just spend that. You don't have any qualms about it. But when you've actually worked for that money, your whole mentality changes, your whole characteristics, your personality, everything about you changes because you have now acquired a skill in order to start making income for yourself rather than allowing people to just dash you money. So This is, this is so... And the thing about it, Mr. Phil, sorry to um, interject. The thing about it is that, you know, people that are receiving dash money, instead of them to engage their minds, to use the right muscles to, to build, they start becoming professional beggars. Yes! They start becoming skilled at begging for dash money. Thank you. Digging their own grave further. Because all you're doing is digging your own grave further. You know? And you're like, you know, first of all, the hello. You know, you start saying hello back. Oh, God will bless you. You know, it's leading somewhere. And before you know it, oh, can you dash me money? Any amount will do. You know? And you think, you're thinking... You're operating the wrong principle, my people. You are operating the wrong principle. It's not the principle of wealth. It's not the principle of growth. You know, which is why is this channel is so important. Because even the church doesn't teach you to have the right relationship with money. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> Religion. The, even university doesn't teach you the right relationship with money. Woo! We're showing you, we're telling you that you have, you can either have the right relationship with money or the wrong relationship with money. Dash money will only make you poor, only earned money. Look, I've got my, my sons are actually in the next room. Yeah. Like I said, if they want money, dad, what can we do? Can, do you want, do you need anything arranged? <laughs> I'm saying, yeah. There's, there's no lack of money. There's no lack of money, is there, Mr. Phil? No. For them, there's no lack of money. It's just like, listen. Because they would, they, they would use their imagination. They'll be like, yeah, I'm Can I that for? <laughs> you know? You know, so again, um, I think Rika wanted to say something earlier. I hope, do you, do you remember what you wanted to say, Rika, about um, the relationship with money? Well, um, yes. Not about what I wanted to say earlier, but okay. right now, something just came to my mind that, yeah. especially with the way that you've treated me and my brothers, you've allowed us to create a healthy relationship mm. that we don't, we don't beg, you know, mm. like you said, my brothers, they will use their initiative, they'll use their own creativity to think of ways and solutions that you might need in order for them to create that money, not that, oh, oh, please, can you give me some? It's more of, okay, I'm going to be proactive and this is how I'm going to acquire what I want. So it Definitely. allows you, you know, like, like Uncle Leia said, the neuro, the neuro pathways, we're creating new ones every hmm. single day because we're trying to think of different, different types of ways to acquire what we want. Definitely. And see, well, so we're talking about how to empower your network, yeah? One of them is teach them the right relationship with money. Mm -hmm, Another, again, you cannot empower your network or have a network if you're not having what we call the same language. The same language means that you guys are going, you're reading the same books, you're reading, you're, you're listening to the same stuff, you're watching channels like this, you're talking, you're talking about it. After a while, your talking will start merging. You start understanding each other. Like Mr. Clay right now, we've done it for so many years that Mr. Clay can finish my sentences. What mm. do you think, Mr. Oh, Clay? Oh, yeah, definitely. Because that's, that's, that's what it is where, where you mold minds together mm. and you actually plan together. You, 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 um, you know, the Bible says two cannot walk together unless they agree. Yes. You know? Yes. And even the most powerful word, you know, one of the most powerful things that God said in the Bible is about the Tower of Babel. Of where he says, you know, these people, if we don't confuse their language, there's nothing that will be able to stop them from doing. Even they God in all his power, <laughs> even God in all his power said that about yes. man, about yes. you and I, you know? So so let's bring it down. Let's, let's, let's round this up, people. Let's round this up. Let's just say, empower your network. 
understand that you start, I don't know who we're talking to out there. Understand that you need to start investing your time and effort into empowering those around you with information, with your time, with meetings, with rubbing minds together, with, you know, coming up with ideas. Like we said, not everybody will come on, on this journey with you. Not everybody came with me. But guess what? Enough did. Yeah. And yeah. you guys don't even know. There are certain things we've not even revealed that is so powerful that, that we're already, we already have a very powerful network here in the UK. So why are we talking to you guys in Nigeria if we already have a powerful network? It is because we are extending this good stuff to you guys. Yeah. yeah. Why not? It's the same principle. All we're working on is this principle. And to be, to be fair, it is the universe. Look, maybe some people have been praying because we only started this channel about two months That's ago. That's right. That's right. Look I couldn't it. do this actually three months ago because my mind wasn't going there. So maybe some people have been praying, God, send us a solution. God, mm. send us a solution. Then the idea hit me two months ago. Start a YouTube channel. You've, all, you've been doing this for years. Why not just do it? And bless people for free. Why not? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Bless so that, people that, that, for please. free. Yes. Bless people for, for free. free. Because the universe is demanding it. Somebody out there is asking for it. Praying for it. Rike. Talk us out. <laughs> Be the gift you want to receive. Hmm. <laughs> My goodness. My Blowing goodness. us away, Rike. Look, that is the last one, ladies and gentlemen. Rike, say it again, please. Woo. Be the gift you want to receive. On that note, this is Mr. Phil saying goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>